All right, guys, going to give you a recap for the trading today on this 4th of March, 2020. Welcome into the Trade Lab here at the Trading Room. My name is EP, and I've uh, been trading for just about 55 minutes. Took us 55-0 to uh, reach the target today. And our objective every trade session is to come in for an hour of trading right at the beginning of the stock market opening and uh, try to knock down 500 bucks on a $10,000 account. And uh, that was achieved today. So here's the S&P and I'm gonna put it in full picture here for you. And uh, I'm gonna do something actually that I think you guys will hopefully appreciate. Creating a chart of the S&P. And um, I'm going to make this a uh, five minute chart. And uh, it's going to be naked. So, all you boys and girls, cover, cover your eyes. This is the SP with absolutely no clothes on. Okay. That's the SP on a five minute bar. And midnight is going to be here at my crosshair right over here okay so just putting it into perspective for you so this is what the s p looks like with no clothes on allow me to place some tony stark glasses on your head for you to look at the s p a little differently boom there it is a lot different right so the green levels you got your bowl Bottom one is the bear. Top yellows are resistance. Bottom yellows are support. Top red is critical resistance, and bottom red is critical support. So what does all this mean? Well, it means a lot in terms of the logic that we apply today. I'm going to give you guys a recap of how we went in and applied logic with the trend, the sentiment, what was leading and lagging, what is the next stream, what is the zone, and uh, let's talk about volume. And today, the sentiment's been all over the place. The sentiment, we started off today at 9.30, right there at my crosshair. The S&P was actually up in the bull zone. We then slipped into the neutral trade zone, which is right in between the bull and the bear. And we saw a uh, mixed sentiment. And we, for about five minutes, went into the bear zone. All the while, as the uh, notes were up in the bull. And we actually went risk off. Looked like, oh, no, here we go again. But the S&P pulled around, went back into the middle, back to mixed. And as we speak, the S&P is back up into the bull. All the while, the notes, which are right here, are up in the bull zone as well. So, guys, this is what we refer to as a conflict sentiment. So every 10 minutes, we've been averaging just about a change in our sentiment. And this helps us determine what markets to trade or what markets not to trade. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the struggles that I had early this morning. In gold, when I have a mixed and conflict sentiment, I like to trade gold. I like to trade crude. Speaking of crude, we have uh, a report in one minute on crude oil inventories. We'll go hop over and look at that in just 15 seconds. You see, I tried to buy gold on a breakout. Failed. Tried to buy it again. Uh, failed. And uh, so I said, okay, we're done. Not going to touch this market anymore. Uh, struggled a bit there with the gold. Um, here's crude oil. Try to sell it. This is a counter trend trade. This market was showing weakness. However, it's been one of the strongest in terms of net change today on the leading side. You can see it just recently spiked here about five minutes ago. And in 17 seconds, you're going to see this market make another bold move one way or the other as the crude oil inventories are about to roll out. The numbers about to roll out. The white line, that's the high of the day. This one down here is the low of the day. And here we go. Three, two, one. And you guys are watching the market live here. Reports coming out. And it uh, looks like it's trying to match the high of the day, perhaps. I'll keep that camped out over here, second from the left, if you want to watch it. Again, this is a live market. Let's talk about um, some trades that were good to me, rather than the ones that were uh, making me get banged up a little bit. 
the NASDAQ took it for a ride downtown today. Uh, the NASDAQ, I took it as it broke into the bear territory right there and took about uh, $600 off of a one lot in the uh, in the NASDAQ as it was making its move down. Now, the S&P did not commit to staying down into the bear territory, and that's why it spiked back up. And uh, the other one that I made money on today was the Dow. And I made money on it as well. First, first trade was actually a loser. That was a trend-following trade that got stopped out. Then I took it short with a breakout below the lower band. Counter trend trade, taking all the way down into the middle of the neutral trade zone. And then you can see here that I bought it. And I took it on the ride up. I actually added to the position. I made some nice profits. And that's how I was able to get my uh, profit target for the day. And uh, Joe just made a very good point in the uh, trade lab that when I took this trade off, I want you guys to see something that was at 1020 and take a look what the NASDAQ was kicking out at 1020. See that red dot right there? That's the retracement signal and that came out at 1020. And look at the market sense. So using these indicators, using logic to help me get in and out of trades. Net net when it's all said and done, had a lot of trades today to get to the goal, but here's the results generating from today, the 4th of March. Here are the trades, one by one. Definitely uh, higher than an average number of trades here in the in the room. Uh, as you can see, the last three really nice ones, 665, 305, 305, and that helped me get to a 492.50 for the day, $492. And that would be a wrap here in the Trade Lab. If you guys want more information, you can hop over to thetradingroom.com, thetradingroom.com. Get more information. Get a two-week trial. It's very easy to do. Watch a little video. Grab some popcorn and be entertained. If you want to get more information on what we do, how we do it, and where we do it, right down here, the technology, the performance, and more of these type of recordings. Outside of that, guys, that's a wrap for the 4th of March, 2020. See you guys back in tomorrow. Stay good. Stay trendy.